Good afternoon, Kiligan City National High School, especially to all grade 7 students who are listening right now. Welcome to 106.3 Radio City High. I'm your teacher, Ma Maria Teresa Bulungan. So today, we are going to discuss one of the specialization which you will find it interesting and exciting, and that is handicraft production. Handicraft production is a particular skill of making decorative objects using your hand. So at the end of this period, I want you to name the basic embroidery tools and observe the proper use of embroidery tools. So let me define first what is an embroidery. Are you familiar with this term? Okay, so embroidery is the ornamentation of textiles and other materials with needlework. Embroidery is for personal use and decoration, not only at home, but for offices as well. So the term embroidery is an English word that derives from the old French embroiders, which means edge and borders. And you know what class? It reached its highest development during the Middle Ages. So embroidery was first made by the nuns in the convents during their leisure time. So let us now have the different embroidery tools. Are you now ready? Okay, the first tool is Thimble. Thimble is used to protect your finger while doing the embroidery work. So, aro dilita mga masamad sa atong tarabaho. So, we have to use the thimble. Okay, next is needle threader. Needle threader is used for easier threading, especially by those sewers with poor eyesight. So, if we are having difficulty in inserting the thread inside the eye of the needle, so we have to use the needle threader, no? especially for those who have poor eyesight, katong mga daot o mata. So, you have to use this one. Okay, next is tape measure. Are you familiar with this tool? Yes, of course. So, this tool is used to measure more than one foot distance. Okay. Another tool is pounds. Okay, we have here a black pounds. This tool is used for transferring design using the pricking method. Although this tool is considered as one of the basic one, but during our activity later, dili kay nato isha gamiton. Anyway, at least sa kailagin mo kung saan siya. So next is watercolor brush. Okay, watercolor brush is another uh, transferring tool by pricking and pouncing method. Okay, I know this is very common to you. This is what you call the tracing paper. So tracing paper is used for tracing a design. So, how are you going to trace a design? So, you have to look for a design. Okay, daghan mo kayo sa internet. You can print it. No? And then, you can use the tracing paper in order to transfer your design to your fabric or your cloth. Okay, next. Next is pin cushion. So, this is where you place your pins and needles after using arundita, magsaya-saya sa itong mga gamit, especially pins and needles kay mga hait man sila, they are very sharp. So, after using it, you have to put it in the pin cushion. Okay. Next is, we need to have a sewing box because the sewing box is used to keep the embroidery tools and materials together. After using all the tools and materials, you have to put that one inside the sewing box para the next uh, work, dali ra kay na to pagpangita. 
Okay, so I hope you understand it. Okay, another important tool in embroidery is embroidery scissors. This is used for trimming scallops, clipping threads, and cutting large eyelets. Now, embroidery scissors class is different from the scissor that we are using because this is a very small scissor and it is intended for trimming eyelets on your threads. Diba? Kanang na mga tinahi sa inyong mama or mga tinahi, usually gagmay man siya, so you cannot use the ordinary scissors. So, atong gamiton kaning embroidery scissors. If you have noticed, ang iyahang tumoy is very pointed. So, this is intended for trimming scallops and clipping threads. Okay, another important, very important tool. Okay, this is, these are the needles. Needles have sharp tips and larger eyes. No? Because it is used for uh, embroidery, sewing. Mag-design mangod mo. So, you have to use the big one, the big eyelets or the larger eyes. Kani mga dag ko o mga buho. So, the eye can accommodate the embroidery threads. But if you are using the small one, no, dili maglisod ta o trabaho ana. Especially if you are making a decorative articles. So, you cannot use the small one. So, we need to have the needles who have a larger eyes. Okay, that can accommodate the embroidery threads. Now, usually needles for embroidery have sharp tips because it will help the needle to penetrate tightly woven embroidery fabrics as well as felt. So they are also sometimes referred to the crewel needles. So crewel needles are the needles that we are going to use in embroidery. Okay, do you understand? Okay, next is the embroidery hoop. Embroidery hoop is used also to keep the fabric stretch while the embroidery stitches are applied on the design. So you are going to tighten, no? To tighten the, the fabric using this embroidery hoop for you to easily decorate your fabric with the different designs that you have chosen for your embroidery article. Okay, so I hope that you have understand the different embroidery tools. These are the basic one. So as a review, okay, so let us name once again the different embroidery tools. This one, the first um, tool is thimble. Okay, very good. Next is the needle threader. Okay. We have also here the tape measure and the pounds. Okay. Next, that is a watercolor brush and a tracing paper. Okay. We have also here that is a pin cushion and that is a sewing box. Okay, next, we have also the embroidery scissors and the needles. Okay, can you still remember what is the name of that needle that we are using, that we will be using for our embroidered article? Okay, that is a crewel needle. Okay, and the last one is embroidery hoop. Okay, very good. Now for your activities class, you have to answer what's more activity one that is found in page three. Okay, what is in what's more page three? Okay, so if you try to look at in your module, the instruction there is you have to name and give the functions of each tool. Okay, so let's try to look at the pictures. We have two, we have three rows in there. So the first, the first column, now we have 
three columns. The first column are the different pictures of the embroidery tools. On the second column, we have to give the name, name of the tool. And then, on the third column is we have to give the functions of these tools. I hope that is clear. Okay. In activity 2, page 3, what I have learned, so the direction is you have to match the description and uses in column A with its name in column B. So you have to write the letters only. Okay, number one, in letter A, it is an ornamentation of textiles with needlework. Number two, it is used to measure more than one foot distance. Number three, a tool used for transferring a design when using a pricking and pouncing method. Number four, a tool in embroidery that is used to keep fabric stretch while embroidery stitches applied on a design. Number five, a fine powder used in transferring design by pricking method. Number six, a type of needle used for most standard embroidery stitchery. Number seven, a tool used to keep pins and needles in place. Number eight, it is used for easier threading, especially by those sewers with poor eyesight. And number nine, it is used to protect your finger while doing the embroidery work. And number 10, it is used to measure short distance. I hope that you have learned something for today. And I hope that you will be able to answer the activities that I will be given to you. So for your assignment, you have to read what is it in page 4. So what is in the page 4? So these are the different embroidery stitches. So in page 4, you have also here the link, no, the link in this module. Na nako dirigibotang, the link that you have to uh, to look for because it will be your guide. No, it will help you and guide you in making an embroidered article. So it is now stated here in page four. We have here information sheet for embroidery stitches. So I have I want you to read this one in advance and then for your first performance. You are going to create at least five basic embroidery stitches. So, I have here, no, you have here in page four, the basic embroidery stitches. So, you have to select five only and you are going to put that one in a scrap cloth. So, whatever available cloth na sa inyong balay, so you can use that one. But if you have some time, if you have an extra money, you can also buy an Ida cloth because the Ida cloth is the, um, the material that is very applicable in making an embroidered article. So that's all for today. Thank you for listening and good afternoon. Bye, everyone.